Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? How are you doing? Good evening, good evening. Hi. Okay, welcome. I see you right on the chat. Adriana, you continue sick. God. And how do you feel? Not so good. Oh my goodness. Sad. Okay, hope you feel better. Hope you get better, all right? Take the medication. All right, good evening. Well, I see some people have text on the chat. That is great. So we can read your messages, read your greetings, say good evening, say how you're feeling, say how you're doing. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Oh well, the nice class. Here we will have. Yes, definitely. Our class number 17. This is November 9th, Wednesday, November 9th. And of course, we're going to be starting to talk about monitoring personnel. Yes, and that's the use of the superlative forms of the adjective. So this is what we're going to start uh, describing and studying today. All right. So probably it's not very unfamiliar to you because once we already studied the comparatives, right? So now we're going to go with the superlative. So we're still using adjectives. So it's a topic the probably you are a bit familiar with all right yes but in the meantime i gotta have the attendance all right well while taking the attendance say how you doing let's see the first person oh my god let me see To the right date, yes, Wednesday 8. Yeah, we already saw Adriana there. Carlos is gonna be a listener. He says he gotta come back from San Miguel tonight. Yes, but he hasn't joined yet. Yeah, most likely he will do it later. Okay. Christina, Mayet, listen. Hi, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Elsie. Friends and teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, um, a little sick. Really? I see lots of people are getting yeah. sick, actually. All right, Fatima. Present teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine. All right, <laughs> at least. Yes. Herman, not here. All right, Hector. Not yet. 
he's coming from our Japan. He just write in the chat. Really? Yep. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> These people go far away for work. Okay, Isabel. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. I'm sorry about my neighbor's dog. Catherine? That's a teacher. Lucy? Present teacher. Mayra? Present. Hi, Nori. Ah, here. Roberto Carlos? Not here. Samuel? Present. Hey, Vitalia? Present teacher. Hello, Walter? Not yeah. yet. Wendy? Not yet. And Irma? Neither. <laughs> Neither nor. Okay, it's a difficult day, I see. Many people have been absent tonight. Okay. Well, let's get started. That's what we're here for. Okay. So let me just choose the manual for you to get the idea of what we are going to be studying right here we go as you may remember during the last class yesterday we started and we practiced this conversation right and it talks about the most efficient way, the best way to keep your staff organized, right? So when I use the most efficient way, let's see, I'm gonna do it from here. We are using a superlative efficient is an adjective efficient is a characteristic right and when you say the most efficient way so you are using a superlative adjective right and of course the same way happens here when you say the best way to keep your staff the best way what is the best right so the superlative of a good way, a better way, and the best way. So in this conversation, they introduce, I mean, yeah, the use of the superlative was introduced, right? So similar to the comparative, we have superlative. Comparative, when we compare only two things, two places, two people, you say, oh, he is younger than me. Oh, this is more difficult than the other activity. But in the superlative, the most difficult, the biggest, the youngest, the loudest, right? The smartest, all right? But in this case, when we use the superlative, we're not comparing to we are comparing many but if it tiene como el grado más alto so that is the superlative for example in central america let's say guatemala honduras el salvador nicaragua costa rica and panama which is the biggest country nicaragua Nicaragua is the biggest country in extension, of course, right? Okay, which is the smallest country in Central America? Belize. 
<laughs> Some people say even Costa Rica. Because, <laughs> you know, Costa Rica actually doesn't have probably, yeah, it has a lot more territory than El Salvador, but yeah, yeah the, the population is not that big as it is in El Salvador. So, give me one second. Uh, I have this. Sorry. I'm sorry about the inconvenience, you know, there are some people that sometimes don't contribute to the peace in the world. <laughs> Hopefully you couldn't listen to anything, right? Just my dog barking. <laughs> so going back, the most is the let's say the word the extra word that we add to some of the adjectives that have more than two or three syllables right but if the adjective is a short word with one or two syllables we only add est right and of course the irregular adjectives that we have good better the best bad words the worst right and the other ones, the largest, the longest, the biggest, the nicest, the cruelest, the coolest, right? So we only have EST, okay? So let me just scroll down for you to be on the right page. And this is what I'm talking about, okay? How to use superlative forms of adjectives. Look at examples in the box. So, of course, we have some examples, but in the sentences, right? It's the best way to acquire the vocabulary because they are being used in context. All right. Use the superlative form of adjectives to compare more than two persons or things in a group. So, the example that I was giving you about the countries in Central America is now two countries is more than two countries it's five countries six countries right so in a group which has the highest degree or the biggest quality in that case right so these are the examples jack is huh? the, jack fast is the fastest the fastest server that's right so you see you don't say the faster you say the fastest est so 
maybe there are five, six, seven, ten servers, but Jack is the fastest, right? Okay, that was the saddest, the saddest moment in the shift, right? So maybe there are sad moments, but that was the one that has the most, right? The one that has the huge quantity of sadness. So it says, that was the saddest moment in the shift. All right, the next one starts with the superlative. The busiest hour is during lunch. So when the people more, the, I mean, come the most to the restaurant is the busiest. So the busiest moment is the lunch time, definitely, right? So there are some other examples. The most interesting customers come to our restaurant. Most, the most. Now, I cannot say the interesting guest. That's impossible. Because the word interesting has three syllables. So I need to add the most, right? The most interesting customers come to a restaurant. Kitchen managers have the best schedules. This is an irregular adjective, and I usually receive the worst tips. Of course, here the superlative adjectives have been used in sentences, right? Fastest, saddest, busiest. The fastest, the saddest, the busiest. You see? Fast, one syllable. Sad, one syllable. Busy, one, well, busy, two syllables, but the last word, I mean, the last letter is a Y. So that's why I E S T, busiest, right? And of course, interesting the syllables so we are the most the most interesting customers right and here of course you have the spelling the spelling rules right it says the superlative form of one syllable adjective is made of the plus the adjective plus est adjectives that have two or more syllables long use the most in the adjective for their superlative form. And adjectives like good and bad are called irregular adjectives because their superlative form do not follow EST rule. A good y a bad no le podemos poner goodest ni badest. Y tampoco le podemos poner the most good. No, it has to be the best and the worst, yes? Simplemente así es, ya no hay más que hacer. You cannot apply any of the other rules, yes? So the best and the worst. And you say the best, um, the best musician or the best uh, singer, the best artist, the best player. So you are saying el mejor. And the worst, of course, the opposite, right? You say, oh, this was the worst day of my life. <laughs> it's a bit to agree. <laughs> you say, oh, that was the worst situation I ever experienced, right? Okay, so those are the rules for the superlative. Of course, I know it requires some studies, but that's what we do. We study the rules in order to apply them correctly, okay? So, I'm going to give you some minutes for you to analyze, for you to read, for you to say the sentences. If you have questions regarding vocabulary, pronunciation, you can ask. Of, of course, we are studying, we're reading. And then we are going to complete exercise six, right? Underline the correct word or phrase. The most important, the more important. So you will have two choices two possibilities and you have to decide which one is the correct one. Okay, any question? Alguna pregunta? Is there any question so far?
No? Sure? Are you sure? Sure, sure. All right, perfect. Bueno, we're going to make groups. Van a leer esto nuevamente. Como si se lo estuvieran explicando a su partner. Like, the way I do it. No, maybe not the way I do it. Maybe a better way. Okay. <laughs> and then you complete the exercise. All right. So first, read and try to understand. Okay. Try to see what the rule is, how to apply the rule, how to use the adjectives, the superlative adjectives in a sentence. And then complete the exercise six. All right, here we go. Let's make some groups for us to work on that exercise. Let me see. Okay. Well, not so many probably. Yes, here we go. Teacher, help me. Hey. Teacher, help me with the screen. I want to share. Yes, yeah, I'm please. Sorry. Don't worry. Uh, I see. Ahí está, ya, ya pueden ver. Ahorita está cargando. Bye. Hoy sí, ahorita sí. Hoy sí, bye. Ok. Dijo que le diéramos. ¿Eh? Um, si quiere empiezo a leer el primer cuadrante vaya yo sigo el segundo y después Sabel y así va y yo solo escucho a ver, a ver. <risa> dele cate vamos a ver dice how to use superlative forms of adjectives Use the superlative form object of adjective to compare more than two persons or things in a group. Jack is the fastest server. That was the saddest moment in the shift. The busiest hour is during lunch. The, the most interesting customers come to our restaurant. The superlative form, the superlative form for one syllable. Sí. <laughs> ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Syllable. 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 Adjective is mad of the more adjective, more s. E s t. Adjective does are two or more syllable long. Use the more most more adjective for the superlative form. Kitchen managers have the best kitchen. I usually receive the worst tip. <clears throat> adjective like good and bad are called irregular. Adjective because there's superlative form do not follow the ST rule. 
first when when we talk about superlative we have to use three things number one the the word d number two the adjective and number three we have to add est this is the way we will going to use the superlative the adjective and est and try to remember what is an adjective que es un adjetivo Try a noun or thing. Excuse me, Walter. Adjective is to describe a noun or thing. Okay. Es lo que nos describe una persona o cosa. Muy bien. Entonces, cuando trabajamos con los superlativos, vamos a trabajar tres cosas. Con la palabra de, con el adjetivo y al final con el EST en los verbos regulares. Uh -huh. The adjectives are two or more syllables long. Use the, must, the plus, must plus adjective for the superlative form. Uh -huh. In this case, okay? The adjectives like good and bad are called irregular adjectives because their superlative forms do not follow the EST rules. ¿Qué dice acá? Que los adjetivos bueno y malo son tomados como verbos irregulares porque no deben de ir seguidos de la letra EST, sino que les ponemos from good, ¿cuáles serían los superlativos? Eh, must the Use the superlative form of adjective to compare more than two person or things in a group. Jack is the faster server. That was the saddest, saddest moment in the shit. The busiest horse is during lunch. The most interesting Customer come to work restaurant. The superlative so form. Yes, the superlative form or one syllable adjective is made of the more adjective, more EST adjectives mm -hmm. that are two or more syllables long. Use the more most and more adjective. For the superlative form. Kitchen manager have the best schedules. I usually receive the worst tips. Adjectives like good and bad are called irregular. Adjectives because their superlative forms do not follow the EST rule. or things in a group. Example, Jack is the fast, fastest server. And other example, that was the saddest moment in the shift. And also the, the busiest hour is during lunch. And the most interesting customer come to our, our restaurant. Um, kit, the kitchen managers have the best schedules and I usually receive the worst tips for uh, the superlative form for one syllable adjective is made of the adjective plus 
E S T. Adjectives that are two or more syllables long use the most plus adjective for their superlative form. Mm. For this is X is the example the most interesting customers come to our rest our restaurant. Why we why we use <laughs> the most in this case? Why? Why? Because Big, small, solo le vamos a agregar EST. Pero cuando tenga más de dos, uh -huh. dos o más palabras, le vamos a poner the most. Ya no le vamos. No tengo la página, pero ya ahorita la, ya la buscamos. Y acá vamos a buscar, vamos a... Ah, vamos a subrayar. Los superlativos, ajá. Ajá, la forma correcta. Ok. The most important. Underline. The most important. Pasha, lo busco en Unit 3. Porque la verdad no estoy entendiendo. <risa> <risa> estoy en blanco ahorita. <risa> Vaya, y creo que si no me equivoco, esa es la Unit 3. Syllables. Add the superlative form, form for one syllable adjective is made of the plus adjective plus est. Adjective that are two or more syllables long. Use the plus most plus adjective for the superlative form. <clears throat> Adjective like good and bad are called irregular adjectives because their superlative form do not follow the TSP rule. 
O sea que aquí este, se usa el mod cuando se divide en varias sílabas, ¿verdad? Cuando es un adjetivo grande, correcto. Cuando ajá. tiene dos o más sílabas, así ajá, es. Ajá. Y en el otro, este, cuando solo es una sola sílaba. Correcto, solo se le agrega EST. EST, ajá, correcto. Ya, ya hoy sí entendí. Excelente. Igual. Dice aquí. ¿Cuál era el otro? Adjective like good and bad are calling irregular. Adjective because their superlative yeah, exactly. forms do not follow the S rule. O sea, no siguen esta regla. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exacto. Entonces, ¿cómo Exacto. se dice? Sí o sí. El superlativo de good es best. best. The best. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y entonces y el de bad es wrong. Worse. The worst. 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 Exacto. Ok, uh -huh. entonces ya aquí podemos descartar, descartar este. El de good es. Ajá. Ellos, good. ajá, esos dos no cumplen con la regla de agregarle el IST. Ya. Este Perdón, sí. el EST. EST. Jane is fast, fast, fastest. Ajá. Y Jane is the fastest. ¿Y por qué no fastest waitress? Porque eh, la no regla dice que tiene que llevar el D más el adjetivo con la terminación EST. EST, ok. Ajá. Perfecto. Delivery order are the most popular. The more popular uh -huh. right now. Uh -huh. Es the most popular. Pop popular. Uh -huh. Para mí sería the most. The most, sí, exacto. The most. The most y no lo podemos subrayar. <ríe> Yo creo que sí. ¿Quién está compartiendo? Bueno, yo. Eh, La mera Cristi. No, hombre, Cristi, si ahí tienes vos el poder ahí. Qué vergüenza. Bueno. <ríe> Vamos a ver. Ok, esta, eh, la, en la dos, esta sí sé que Employees. So it's the best, the, uh, the schedule are, es de ir ordenando. O uh -huh. repetimos, o repetimos el, el box. Um, pues, um, no sé, um, I don't know, whatever you want. If you, if you want to, ok. Be my guest. Okay. You might guess. Um, I will read to the first one. This okay. one. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Only for for practice. Um, is uh, use the superlative form uh, of adjectives to compare more than two persons or thing in a group. Jack is the fastest server. Uh, that was the sadness moments in the ship. The busiest hour is during lunch. The most interesting customers come to our, to our restaurant. The superlative form, uh, form one syllable adjective is made of the, uh, the particle da, plus adjective plus EST, adjectives that, that are two or more syllables long use da plus most plus adjective for their superlative form. Like you said before, uh, for extraction of the sentence in this, in this way, the superlative form, we have to use, um, for example, in, And there is a rule, there are a rule, for example, if the, if the object ends in letter E, just add ST. For example, uh, la, the word, uh, I don't know. Um, whatever wants, uh, words that ends in, in, in letter E, We only add ST. 
Eh, lo que digo es que si la palabra termina en, con la letra E, solo vamos a agregar ese T al final. ¿Verdad? Y, y si, por ejemplo, el adjetivo termina en, en letra Y, solo vamos a, a reemplazar la, la letra Y eh, por, la letra, por la letra I al final, ¿verdad? And, um, vamos a agregar EST. Por ejemplo, try becomes en try it. Se convierte la, en la palabra try, que es seco, se, se escribe DRY. Entonces, esa D, la Y se convierte en una I latina y se le agrega EST. Así vamos a, a formar lo que es el, el superlative form. Como happy, Walter. Um, happy, yes, se convierte en. Digamos, esa, esa Y al final se convierte en una I latina y se dice happiest. Ajá, así es. ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? Sí. A ver. ¿Qué es la que eh. se ahí el ejemplo, el happy? Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh. Ok. Eh, the next one, superlative. Ok. Kitchen manager have the best schedules. I usually receive the worst <coughs> tips that you said before. Adjectives like good and bad are called irregular adjectives because their superlative forms don't follow the EST rule. En estas palabras, como decía el compañero anteriormente, no, no se le agrega porque es una, son palabras irregulares. Como hay verbos irregulares, también hay, hay adjetivos irregulares. En este caso, good es, um, digamos, the best. O better, lo mejor. En bad, the words. Y así se forma lo que es el. Bueno, tengo la idea de que así se forma lo que es el superlative, superlative form. Great. Ok, we have next uh, underline the correct words or phrase. The most important. Or the more important thing is to find a substitute for six for six employees, which is the correct way. The most important. The most important. The most Thank important. You. The second one. Don't use the best. The goddess schedule as a reward. que decía que la fecha iba era 14 de noviembre. Ajá. Y, y qué raro, dije yo, si 14 ni hemos terminado aún. Yo también, así, entonces fue que me dijeron, ah, pues no haga caso omiso. Yo soy <risa> obediente. <risa> así que he hecho caso hasta, omiso. <risa> hasta enero, entonces. Hasta enero. ¿Y dónde no recibí ese correo, Cristi? Pues hacer... a mí, porque la chica de recursos humanos me... Me copió. Yo creo que eso es de recursos humanos. Sí. Que ahí, le, que ahí le, le piden los nuevos comprobantes y todo. Y entonces ahí le dice de que, eh, que me van a reservar cupo hasta el otro, hasta enero, ¿verdad? Hasta que empiece el próximo. Uh -huh. ah, bueno. Sí, Pero, no he recibido yo. El así como de son. Ya. de Yo creo que el quizás... De noviembre. Va.
All right, everybody's back. Everybody returns. Yes. Nobody got lost in the breakout rooms. All right, good. All right, questions about the practice, about the reading, about studying the rules for the superlative? Alguna question que hayas here? Teacher, yes. en el caso de um, los adjetivos busy and pretty, uh -huh. eh, tienen dos sílabas, eh, uh -huh. busy y pretty. Uh -huh. Pero sabiendo de que este, siempre... Sí, en la regla de eso. Eh, va a agregar el e, el ajá. Sí. Eh, la excepción no, es no. porque terminan en guay, terminan en una y. Entonces, al terminar en una Y, esta Y se convierte en una I latina. Entonces, sigue la misma regla. The busiest, uh -huh. the prettiest, uh -huh. the craziest. Uh -huh. <ríe> sí, es, es Todo que, lo que termina en un Y. Exacto, es que esa es la, la, la regla. Porque ahí lo que pasa es que se, por decir algo, se fusiona la última y se hace una sílaba. Entonces, uh -huh. uh, al convertirse esa en otra vocal, eh, lo que pasa es que en inglés la, la Y y la W son semi-consonants o semi-vowels. Actúan como consonante o como vocal dependiendo de dónde están. Si están al inicio, son semi-consonants. Pero si están al final, son semi-vowels porque están precedidas por una consonante. Entonces, eso es lo que pasa. Se fusiona y ya se hace la misma regla de el EST, aunque sean dos sílabas. Ok, thank you. All right. ¿Algo más? Anything else? Ahorita aprovechen que yeah. I'm in a good mood. <laughs> For grammar, I love grammar actually. Uh -huh. Teacher, eh, este esto... es el más, digo, Fermán. <laughs> Teacher, <girl. laughs> I'm just kidding. How are you? I'm good. I'm <laughs> good because But a lot I'm of people under. are sick, believe me. <laughs> yeah. A lot. And other people are just coming from from far, far away, from Aguachapán and from San Miguel. <laughs> no, it, the traffic is, is, is serious. Ah, yeah. Not only the traffic, the people are crazy. Yeah. ¿Qué le pasa a la gente? Sí, Miss Christy que trabaja en un banco sabe que no han pagado. <laughs> <That's so bad. laughs> ah, es, es la app del agrícola. Que los tiene Ay, no, qué estrés con esa gente usted. A las nueve están cerrando algunas agencias. Es para... true, yo vi ¿Sí? eso. Y esa gente debe estar al punto del colapso. Fíjese que, bueno, comercial va. Conozco a alguien que, que trabaja en, en el banco y dice que está llegando a las 12 de la noche a la casa. Sí, porque ellos aunque cierren, hay muchas cosas que si no les cuadran no se van. Sí, así I es. I used to have a friend cuando allá en el año del uh, que existió el banco salvadoreño. My friend used to... Ay, vaya, tampoco, vaya, como me dicen. <risa> <risa> My friend worked at the... ¿Qué van haciendo yo cuando eso pasó? Ah, Con bancasa y... Eso yo no sé de eso. Ah. Y hasta la casa. Pero sí, my friend used to work at Banco Salvadoreño. Y aunque cerraran, pero si no les paraba, venía como en la madrugada. Yo, ok. Good morning again. Solo dormía como cuatro horas, se volvía a bañar y se volvía a ir yo. Buena excusa tenía. Me cuadró. No, uh, me cuadro. Maybe. <risa> maybe okay. Porque a veces hasta les pedían comida y él la traía. Bye. Pachi left to the United States. Se fue a los United. Dijo que, ah, no, this is not for me. <risa> <risa> no, my, my student es, eh, is, um, en este caso, el, sí se parecen un poco a las reglas del comparative. De hecho, son, o sea, Literalmente la misma, el mismo tema. Ahora, o sea, comparativo y superlativo. Ambos son de adjetivos. Good. La única diferencia es que con los comparativos ustedes solo pueden comparar dos cosas, dos lugares, dos personas. Y acá está comparando entre un grupo. 
de más de dos, ya pues, de tres hasta miles, pues. Por ejemplo, yo les decía, who is the... Ah, veamos, en su familia uno generalmente dice, ah, este es el mayor. Y dice, my brother is the oldest. ya yeah? or my brother Francisco is the youngest. Entonces, obviamente, hay varios en su familia y se empieza a decir quién es el más alto, quién es el más enojado, quién es el más serio. Entonces, ahí no está comparando dos, sino que de entre todos los demás, ese es el que tiene como el grado más alto en esa característica. Okay. Eso es el superlativo. Ajá, ustedes dicen mi trabajo, my boss es de... <risa> the oldest. <risa> the most serious. <risa> yeah. Ok. Ajá. Okay. Pero sí, las reglas en spelling son muy parecidas a las de los comparativos. Solo que en comparativo para el short adjective es ER y en superlativo es EST. En comparativo usted pone ER y dice than, bigger than. Ajá, y en el superlativo dice the, the biggest. Por eso un restaurante que se llamaba The Biggest. El más, como grandísimo. <ríe> como el más grande. Sí. The Biggest. Eh, no, la otra cosa es que en el caso de... Pero la pregunta también era por el, por el good y por el bad. Uh -huh, que uh -huh. sigue siendo best. The same. Y, the best and the worst. The worst. Eh, pero, o sea, ahí es solo el que se le va a colocar the, the best that. The best dad, the best food, the best restaurant. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yes. Y lo que esté calificando, ¿verdad? Lo que usted quiera decir que es el mejor. Ok. The best movie, the best song, the best singer, the best player. Or the oh. worst. The worst activity. <laughs> the worst <laughs> topic. <laughs> ok. Very Thank good. You, good questions. ¿Alguien más? ¿Somebody else? Nobody else. Ah, también les compartí otra imagen que tiene como más, así como más detallada la regla de spelling, ¿verdad? Que si es una sola sílaba, bla, 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 y así. Que si es una, sil una sola sílaba, pero tiene la secuencia de vowel, consonant, I mean, consonant, vowel, consonant, se duplica también la segunda consonant. Y yes, si termina en Y, tal Y se convierte en I, E, S, T. ¿Qué es la última imagen que les compartí? ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Ya la chequearon? Did you check? All right. Very good. Vamos a tomar la attendance for second time. For the second time. Well, Adriana continues sick. Pobre Adriana. No está yendo to work. Carlos dijo que estaría de listener. ¿Lo han visto por ahí? Have you seen Carlos? No, creo que no lo logró. Ese es su commute de este San Miguel. Ok, Christy, here, present, Elsie, here, Fatima, present, teacher, Fernan, present, teacher, ok, Hector, he says he's coming back from the watch of fun, Isabel, present, teacher, ok, Catherine, present, Lucy. teacher, Present. Mayra. Present. Uri. No vino Uri. Uri. Yo tenía la impresión de que la había visto. She's not here. Roberto. Present. Ahí. Sam. Present. Italia. Present. Walter. Present, teacher. Irma. Teacher, present. Wendy. Ay. ¿Qué pasó, Wendy? Estoy enferma de gripe y tengo calentura. Ay, Dios, todo el mundo está sick. Y ir al seguro ahorita es irse a echar todo un día. No me voy a ir. Don't go. Please, don't go. Ay, no. That's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. Y ahí ve que estaba mandando otra vez. Restrictions to wear the mask, to be blah 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 blah. blah. I know. Hopefully, everybody gets better. Okay. Veamos cómo resolvemos esto. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Very good. Estudiamos las reglas. 
The rules are on the manual, definitely. Y ahí están, los escuché leer. They are good. Esta es la última image that I share. Y el exercise que ustedes estaban trabajando, identificar el superlativo, ¿verdad? También lo resolvieron. Yes. Yes, we did. Veamos que cuando me deje el menú, coger el de subrayar, el underline. Ok. The most important. The more important thing no puede ser porque este es comparativo, entonces necesito un superlativo. Porque estoy hablando en un grado superior, right? So, the most important thing is to find a substitute for sick employees. Oh my God, hablando de sick employees. Don't use the, the best or the best. don't use the best. goodest schedule. The best. The best. The best. The best. As a reward. Okay, don't use the best schedule as a reward. Jane is the fastest or fastest waitress? The fastest. The fastest. The fastest. El otro no está bien porque le falta the. Right? So Jane is the fastest waitress. Delivery orders are the most popular or the more popular right now? The most the popular. popular. The most popular. Right now. This restaurant has the prettiest or the most beautiful decorations. The prettiest. The prettiest decorations. The kitchen manager works the longest or the longest shift? The longest. The longest, the longest shift. ¿Se dieron cuenta que todas eran la primera opción? Sí. It was super easy. Very easy. ¿Alguna question que les haya surgido con el vocabulary de estas sentences? Yes. Uh, what is the meaning of uh, reward? Reward, como recompensa. Como cuando se le da un incentivo. Dice, don't okay. use the best schedules as a reward. Como en recompensa de su buen trabajo, podría ser que le pongan el mejor schedule. Mm -hmm. Someday. All right. <laughs> Don't use the best. Ajá, y le está diciendo que no use el Ajá. mejor el mejor horario como recompensa, sino que o sea, que sea fair pues, que le ponga eh, que yo variados a todos. Mm -hmm. Puede ser. Okay. Someone else. No more? Bye, sure. No more. Okay. Great. Bye. En este caso, el siguiente ejercicio que les planteo en el, en el manual, en realidad no es para aplicar los superlativos. Así que, oh my God, my dog is like crazy. All right, voy a compartirles otro exercise que sí es para aplicar lo de los superlatives. I say comparatives, right? I'm sorry. Let me see. Wait a second. Por aquí. Here we go. Ahí vamos a rehacer nuestros equipos y luego se los comparto en el chat de WhatsApp. Igual, solo seleccionar el superlativo. ¿Ok? Let me see. Ah, oh, no, it's ok.
Okay. What we are going to do? Uh, we, who can share the screen? ¿Quién puede compartir la pantalla? Yo creo que desde el teléfono estamos los cuatro. ¿Será? Bueno, si lo tenemos ahí entonces. Es for practice, the superlative form. ¿Qué tal si lo leemos primero? Cada quien y después le damos la respuesta. ¿O lo vamos respondiendo de una vez? Yo digo que le damos a ver qué tal. Uh -huh. Le damos. Ok. Want to be first. ¿Quién quiere ser primero? Isabel. Yo lo, yo lo voy a leer. Ok. A ver. Eh, bueno, eso ya lo compartió. Sería la, los exercises, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Biggest. Sí, Jupiter is the biggest. Planet and world solar system. Yeah. Yeah. Lerch. It's Lerch. 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 It's the Lerch. Lerch. De ahí lo no, yo, yo este es increíble que no me haya enfermado yo soy bien propensa a enfermarme súper súper propensa pero es un milagro que no me haya enfermado ahorita en esta nueva ola <risa> eh, no, tiene por ahí no. la tabla si sí, eso estoy buscando es que no, la bajé del whatsapp pero no me... ah ok ok quiero ver no sé por qué no sé. ¿La está viendo? Sí, sí la veo. Ah, entonces este sería... Ay, pero qué grande la is. Se ve bien ahí. Esa es la que tendríamos que usar. Ok, para el eje. Ya, le hace falta esta cosa. Bueno, <ríe> la... se me olvidó cambiarle el colorcito. Eh, entonces, The Elephant... Aquí quedamos que era R. R. The large. Largest. Poner otro color. Y el otro dijimos que era eh, Art también va The most Voy a poner lo mío que ya Yo ya necesito lente Large Largest Elephant Are the Largest land Animals on Earth. Hey, uy, me quedó súper grande esta osa. Espera, vamos a ver un ratito. Vamos oh. a hacer aquí. A ver si puedo. Vamos a aumentar esto.
de complicada trabajar desde esta plataforma cuando se pega. Ah, sí. Eh, ahí está. Eh, ah, es lo más que puedo hacer. Pues le... <ríe> Y la otra sería, eh, which sports, sports do you think the most, we both, the, the, we both, the most expensive TV in the store. The dangerous? Uh -huh. Which sport do you think? Uh, uh -huh. Which sport do you think? Yeah, are yeah. the most dangerous are the most the other is my cat my cat my cat my cat, my cat. is Lace. the laziest I S T I E S T is is verdad is singular the laziest no sé si así se dice ahorita te veo uh, no. lazy lo que vas a cambiar es la i griega por i latina y le vas a agregar i E S T y solo una Z. Solo una Z. Le borro una Z. Ok. Correcto. Laziest. Laziest. Animal. I know. What is laziest? Lazy para empezar. Aragán. Y Lazy entonces era Aragán. ¿Ah? Lazy. Ah, no, porque ahí era Lazy E. El nombre. El nombre, sí va. Uh -huh. This restaurant service aquí es. Este restaurante tendría que ser is the best. Y así queda, creo yo. ¿Verdad? Ahorita veo. Number eight, difficult, sería most difficult. Difficult is more difficult or more. Most. 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 Most difficult. Most, Most yeah, difficult. Oh. Estoy mal o creo que el more dijo que lo usamos solo en comparativo. En comparativo. ¿Verdad que sí? Sí. Ah, Most. M-O-S-T en superlativo. <laughs> Es uh, long, serían longes, longest. Bien yes. strange. Ajá, es, en ese estoy con dudas si se le agrega el sería este o como es. Lleva dos, es lleva dos, dos sílabas. Dos sílabas tendría que ser mos. Uh -huh. No es. Según aquí, dos sílabas. Ajá. 
Tendría que ser more. Es, yeah, es como more. Tiene no, dos sílabas. Es most. Most. Porque estamos viendo el superlativo. No, pero aquí hay un ejemplo de gentle. Aquí dice dos sílabas. Y pone un ejemplo de dos. Ajá. Y al final dice superlativo, dice gentle. More gentle. Ahí tengo duda. ¿eh? Donde dice dos sílabas. Gentle. Pero eso es en el cuadro del libro. Es la imagen que mandó ella. Son dos o más sílabas. Se le agrega. Bueno. Well. Who, who is the, the most famous person in your country? Who is? We have to add the verb to be. Who is the most famous person in your country? Okay. Okay. Uh, Wendy. Uh. Uh, number 14. I think it's funny. Funny. No, the number 14. Number 14. My friend. Mm -hmm. Intelligent. Interesting. My friend. My friend. In Ser el superlative de Inter interesting. The most interesting. Recordemos ahí la regla que cuando hay más de tres sílabas se le agrega el the most. The most. Uh -huh. Entonces sería my friend is the most, the most interesting. interesting person. Sería my friend interesting. Así. Interesting. Interesting. Personal, I walk. I know. My friend is the most, the most interesting person I know. Okay. The most interesting. Es el superlativo de interesting. interesting. Es el más interesante. Oh. Okay. No sé si lo volvemos a, a repasar ahí. Funniest. My friend interesting. Entonces aquí ya va otra cosa. My friend. I think it's funniest show on television. My friend. And is. My friend is the most interesting mm. person I know. Interesting. Person, I know. Who the person about the who famous famous famous. Y esa cuánto tiene tres famous famous. Who famous famous. Who's the most famous person in the country? Who the famous? The most. Who's the most famous person in your country? My Lord. <laughs> Who's the most famous? Okay. Ok. Excelente. Ahí está. Le voy a tomar captura ahí de... No, 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 no. Ok. Veo que por ahí está Elsie. Hola, Elsie. A 
¿verdad? O está de oyente, quizá. Ok. We finished the chair. All right, no problems. No, I don't think so. Was easy. It's, it's very funniest. <laughs> the funniest. It's the funniest exercise we make. Uh huh. True. Any new word? New oh, vocabulary? Lazy. The laziest. <laughs> laziest. Uh huh. You say, oh, my brother is the laziest in this house. He never cleans. Yeah. <laughs> well, we usually complain with the superlative. Yeah. All right. No problems, and we come Thank back. You. All right. Thank you. Okay, we want. All right, let's compare the answers. Hmm. One moment, please. Must be here. All right. All right, all right. We need to change the color, otherwise we won't be able to read it. Probably, yes, if we use the red color. Okay. Jupiter is? The biggest. Is the biggest. Is the biggest planet in is our that solar true? system. Is that true? Yes. Anyways. Next, elephants. The elephants largest. are the largest. The largest animals. The largest land animal on earth. We bought most expensive. expensive the most expensive TV. the most expensive the most expensive TV in the store for the World Cup <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> to watch the matches which sport do you think is the most, the most yeah, dangerous the most Okay, which sport do you think is the most dangerous? Mm -hmm. The most dangerous. I think it's snorkeling is <laughs> the most dangerous. <laughs> My cat is the laziest. The laziest animal I know. Well, yeah, cats are lazy actually. All right. This restaurant serves the best food in town. The best food in town. The best of the best. Mm -hmm. I think math. Is the most difficult subject. Is the most difficult subject. You think so? <laughs> yes. All right. What in statistics? In statistics is the longest. What, what is, is the longest? The longest word. What is the longest? Uh huh. 
word in English that you know? ¿Cuál es la palabra más larga que se sabe en inglés? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember. Butterfly. 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 Buttermelon. Watermelon. So you never saw the sound of Super music. Fresh. Uh -huh. So a deer, a female deer, <laughs> red, a rock on the sun. Yeah, that one, super califragilisticus. Because it's really awesome. <laughs> Pero esa no es de la novice rebelde. ¿De quién es? Mm. Esa es de Mary, Mary Poppins. Poppins. Ah, sí, es la Mary Poppins. True. Pero es la misma actriz. True. Y yo me confundí, yo pensé que era la misma película. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. All right. He is strangers. The strangers. The strangers. The strangest things. La, la serie de los chicos. <laughs> the strangest things. Ay, yo diría the weirdest thing. Is <laughs> <laughs> the strangest man this in the story. Strange. All right. Last week I had. The worst. The worst time of my life. Imagine. Which place is, is the hottest place? Is the hottest place on earth? Do you know? <laughs> San Miguel, right? No. Yes, no. <laughs> no, San Miguel is not the hottest place on earth. Only 42 desert. degrees. Desert? Uh -huh. It must be a desert, but I don't know which one. The Sahara, Sahara. Desert, probably. Sahara. So and the mind. coldest place on earth? Antarctic. The Antarctica, yes. And the, what is this? The Alps and the Himalayas, probably. The highest, I guess. Uh -huh. Everest. The Everest. Everest. That's right. I think it is. Funny. The funniest show. It is the funniest show on television. My friend. The most interesting. interesting. It, oh shoot! Hold on. Is the most interesting person I know. And the last one, who? Who is the most famous? Who is person? the most famous person in your country? I, the president. <laughs> My lord. <laughs> it's que todos los videos que veo de los youtubers from another country, they always mention him and how do they know him? But here he has haters. I know. Some people are just haters probably. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Finished. Any question about the exercise? No. no, it was a pleasure. Easy, easy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when well, you say we finished. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the exercise. Ah, okay, okay. Not the class, okay. Uh, no questions, are you sure? No new vocabulary, no new words, no difficult words to pronounce? No. All easy, all cool. All chilling. All right. All right. Okay. Veamos. ¿Se recuerdan cuál era el tema de conversación ayer? Bien, a ver. Even in Spanish, if you remember. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y también salía en la conversation. Justamente la conversation que está antes de la explicación de los superlatinos. A ver qué recuerda. Who remembers? Do you remember? Or the schedule in our workplace? Exactly. 
exactly the work schedules, right? So here you have to discuss which of these strategies do you and your partner consider effective to avoid overstuffing and understaffing. Quedó claro el concepto el concepto de overstuffing and understuffing. Over significa mucho, por encima de lo necesario. Y under, por debajo de lo necesario. Entonces, staff se refiere a que tiene... Uh -huh. Personal. Ajá, mucho personal, porque okay. sobrepasa lo, lo el personal requerido. Y under es que se queda así, con bajo personal. Right? So... There's too much work and not enough stuff. So which of these strategies do you and your partner consider effective to avoid overstuffing and understuffing? Provide a schedule to your employees quickly. Find a method to communicate quickly with employees. Take working preferences into account. A schedule having your employees strength in mind. Allow for changes in the schedule, prevent absenteeism using phone reminders. En todo caso, estas strategies, no sé, aplicarán en lugares donde van como en el día a día creando el schedule, pero no en un, en un trabajo donde usted sabe que tiene que llegar todos los días. Right? So in a restaurant, probably, provide the schedule to your employees quickly. O sea, que tiene que dar el, el horario de trabajo inmediatamente o rápido a los employees. Find the method to communicate quickly with the employees. Encontrar un método para comunicarse inmediatamente con los employees. Take working preferences into account, como tomar en cuenta las... Funciones laborales. A schedule having your employees strength in mind. Eh, asignar los schedules. Teniendo en mente las fortalezas de los employees. Allow for changes in the schedule. Permitir que se hagan cambio en los schedules. And prevent absenteeism using phone reminders. El Prevenir el ausentismo a, a través de hacer recordatorios en los teléfonos. Por eso les digo, si tenemos como un job en el cual llegamos todos los días, ¿no? ninguna de estas creo que aplica. Pero si es en la que la gente llega de, dependiendo del schedule que le hayan puesto, para, o como ir como el día a día, creo, recordando el schedule. Entonces, ¿cuál de esas creen ustedes que sería como una estrategia efectiva? Which of these strategies do you and your partner consider effective to avoid overstuffing and understuffing? Uh, the employees uh, the, that uh, works in terms, rotative mm -hmm. terms, mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, prevent of, of systems using phone reminders. Mm -hmm. Right now, probably using phone reminders because everybody has a telephone, everybody pays attention to the phones, right? That could be. Or, yes, when they rotate the chip, right? Mm -hmm. That could be one to avoid or to prevent absenteeism by using phone reminders. Another? Another possible strategy? Uh, maybe provide a schedule to your employees quickly. Exactly. Because if the employees have the schedule uh, established, um, it's easier to uh, to know what activity that, that they have to do. Exactly, to know what activity they have to do and in which time they have to be there, right? Yes. Okay, that's another effective strategy. Mm -hmm. What about taking working preferences into account? The 
because if somebody says, okay, I prefer to work in the morning and you insist in giving the afternoon shift, probably the person in the afternoon has more responsibilities with their children, with their family, and they say, they express that they prefer working in the morning, but nobody takes into account the preferences, right? So I think that would be another one. Mm -hmm. What else? Well, maybe this is just a brief discussion, so it's all right. Probably in your, in your work, like in my work, that doesn't happen. We have a schedule, like nine hours a schedule every single day. So no matter what, we have to be there, right? So in the case of the, the restaurants, probably because they rotate the schedules. So that is possible to do. All right. Okay. Let's see. We gotta move on. Give me one second. I bet this is the one, yes. Okay. We are going to move to the next lesson, which is monitor personal still, but give advice on tips to monitor personnel and to improve workplace operations. My God, <laughs> this is a lesson for the supervisors, okay? To give advice on tips to monitor personnel and to improve workplace operations. And let's get started, let's just start. How are employees monitored? at your company. Ajá, ¿cómo es que se monitorea el trabajo de los empleados en su compañía? What kind of documentation is used in your company to measure employees are doing a good job? Vamos a revelar esas, esas evaluaciones de desempeño. Ajá. Puso serio es. Yeah, we get to a serious point in the class. No me lo digan a mí, don't worry, it's okay. You can share with your partner, I know. Ustedes son shy, ya veo que les da pena compartir aquí. Solo en small groups. Veamos si es cierto, pues. Let's see. Yes. You say, llamado de atención en English. Oh my God, warnings. When you receive a warning, uh -huh. W A R N I N G, warning. And if it's okay, plural warnings. with S, warnings. But share with your partner how the employees are evaluated. How do people monitor that the employees are doing a good job? You can share with a short idea. No necesariamente tienen que dar un gran speech y explicar todas las métricas que tienen que cumplir, blah, blah, blah. Pero at least give ideas, okay? Let's go. Okay, because cuántas word, como dijo la teacher, warnings. <laughs> cuántas words ha tenido Christy? Ah, uh, vamos a ver. One, two, three, four, four, five. Five warnings. Warnings. Warnings se llamó la atención. <laughs> ah, no, perdón. No. <laughs> Estos no, ninguno. Ninguno, ok. Me parecía raro. Ay. Solo quebrantando la ley, dije yo. No, te me voy a compartir que no, no puedo. Se me ha desconfigurado esta cosa. Pero ahorita. 
¿O puede compartir usted? Ahorita le digo. Primero veo. Monitor en my company. Um, eh, por medio, no sé cómo se dice. ¿Cómo? No sé, por medio de. O a través. Bueno, voy a decir de otra manera. Este, my, ¿Perdón? By means of. By need. Means. Means. By means. By means. Uh, means of. Of, ok. Uh, in my case, uh, the employees are monitored in my company. Uh, by means of the uh, supervisors, the pro, uh, production supervisors. Uh, because, for example, uh, if an uh, employee doesn't work uh, good or is absent in the job, the supervisor do um, a warning and is communicate uh, to my boss. Um, then uh, the kind of the, the, comment, the documentation that is used in my company for the employees are doing a good job is uh, um, by means of controls that all the work that the employees must to work in a company. Um, for example, uh, the first one is the, the assistance of all the employees. Uh, the second one is the production control. And the, um, the last one, um, maybe at the end of the day, um, give uh, all the all the information the place around and in the and in the company have a lot of cameras and a lot of microphones and they yeah. know what we're doing in every moment where I we can move. imagine yeah yeah but yes. it is for the same because you have a big responsibility about the manage the money yeah, and they want to know if you want to do something not properly. Yes, well, but this, that's one of the one of the, the the ways to monitor art. And in your case, well, in my case um is is um, more relaxed because um our manager is only monitor. And uh, when she has to communicate something, okay. And um, after that, we have a camera too for uh, our owners in San Salvador that are mm -hmm. monitor, but maybe it doesn't work properly. The camera because <laughs> it never <laughs> spell nothing. <laughs> I don't know. They never say nothing about it. Yes, <laughs> I believe that. But it's, it's very, um, in my case, I'm not um, monitoring very um, hard. Very hard, very softly. Okay. Yes. And in your case, teacher, how they monitor you? We have supervision sometimes. Mm -hmm. They fill a road break or a checklist of the procedures if we do the procedures the way we're supposed to do them. And in my other job, they give some service to the students. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, we have to 
and we, that. Yeah, and we sometimes have one-on-one -on -one sessions also with the principal. Mm. When he considers that he needs to tell us something, so he calls us on the office. And, you know, then we have a conversation. Then he expresses whatever he wants to express. And that's it. Okay. Yeah, but I, I mean, thank God I don't usually get those, you know, call-ins to the offices because I try to follow. <laughs> I try to follow what I'm supposed to do. But yeah, I've, I've seen cases that, oh my God, and they take hours and hours there. And I'm like, okay, that was supposed to be brief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, one of my friends... You know, just quit okay. this year. Well, she's been there for about six years, and then she just quit. She's an engineer, just assistant engineer. Mm -hmm. I believe the person that uh, they have to to get worried about uh, the fall of the uh, the procedures mm -hmm. is is when. And they they made a, a bad work, no? Yeah, they they are just rebel sometimes, you know. They they know what to do, but they don't want to do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. But anyways, you're done, right? Yeah. All no. right, let's go back. Hey. Not everybody has returned yet. Yes. Hmm. Hey, is it raining in San Salvador right now? Actually, the last day that it rained was um sorry, it was on Saturday, I think. Really? Because here right now is raining. It's wow, raining. Wow, this this year, San Miguel has had the most rain. Yes, because right now it's raining very hard here. Oh my God. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, the weather is cold. Something like that. Nice. It's not, it's not <laughs> hot. <laughs> it's not as usual. <laughs> yes. It's not as hot as usual. All right. Great. <gasps> it's yeah. because we are in carnival. It's nice. true. Yes. The when is the official day for the carnival? Sorry? When is the official day for the carnival? Um, I don't remember, but it's around November 20, 28. Something. Okay, by the end of the month, right? Yes. But the whole month is a celebration. Yes, but uh, here... Every day there is a different carnival in different <laughs> neighborhoods. There's yes. a different dance. <laughs> yes. And people dancing on the street. Yes. All right. Let's see. From the first group, Catherine, Mayra, Roberto, and Vitalia. One participant, please tell us. How do you get evaluated or how do people monitor in your job that you are doing the right work? Anyone, just one. <laughs> Anyone, just one. In my case, mm -hmm. my company, uh, the operation work is measured by goal, 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 all, all day. Mm -hmm. Depending on the operation, they they have different goal. Achieve goal or not achieve. Time is assigned assign, assign for operation. Mm -hmm. And goal calculator in, in hours, hours for, for day. Working, trabajos. Working hours. Uh, working hours. And entre time, time, time for operation. Mm -hmm. and, Tiempo que se tarda, ¿no? 
Yes, spend time during the operation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So they okay. are measured the time and the objective, the goals that they have to achieve. Yes. If they don't finish, they have to continue. Um, no, no matter the time, or they can leave. All they all, all they measure it. Um, Exportation. Exportations. Mm -hmm. Sí. Uh, right. Si necesita más tiempo. If they need more work. Then no, more time. Extras horas. Oh, they they have to go on mm -hmm. extra hours or extra time. Okay. Great. Let's see. The second group was. Oh my God, Isabel, Lucy, Sam, Walter. Okay, uh, in our case, uh, we talk about Walter and he told us uh, he have a, not easy, it's a, a light monitoring about her boss and and uh, supervisor in San Salvador. In my case, I told to the group, we have a lot of camera, a lot of microphones under the whatever you want to, to, to see. And we, uh, we they monitoring our laptops and our phones, and they know every moment what we are, what, what we are doing. All right. So it's like constant monitoring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Inside and outside of oh the company. God. So there is an area just for monitoring. Of, we have an area called monitoring. Yeah, I I remember also in my company there is an area of security uh, that is a monitor. And it's interesting, <laughs> be, it's interesting because nobody knows who works there. Ah, really? Yeah, yes. It's just like they the FBI. <laughs> like this, like this, yeah. You, you don't know the chief of this area, but the people you don't know who are they. Interesting. Yeah. All right. And the last but not least, Christina, Fatima, and Furman. <laughs> In suspense. It's a mystery. Chrissy? Yes? Do you tell? Please, <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, In my job, um, uh, the evaluation is, um, is annual. Uh, um, in bus basic, uh, respond a, a five point, five point. A checklist. Exactly, a checklist, the five point. Um, mm. Punctuality, um, responsibility, case, que, como caso resuelto, como se dice, teacher? Solve cases. Solve cases. And effective and, and the, the result of the case. If five point is um check, <laughs> the, check uh, the, the 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 list is la um cómo se dice que el cliente esté eh, satisfied satisfied uh -huh. satisfied yes. customers satisfied yeah. clients then you get a bonus yeah. um, really <laughs> no it's bonus is um, um, um a salary raise Es, es un premio, por ejemplo, a veces el, si usted llena todos los puntos uh, o todo hace su checklist y aparece con arriba de 90 y cada, cada, cada punto eh, vale 20. O sea, hay subdivisiones, pero si usted llega de 95 para allá, uh, implementan, por ejemplo, vales o vacation. <laughs> But why not a salary hey, raise? Hey, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pero debería ser por un salary raise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, or a bonus. But, yeah. A monetary bonus. 
Yeah, all right. Well, thank you for sharing. Yeah, we all have different skills, different strategies of measuring the work and the effectiveness of our work. Let's see. Attendance, one more time. Cristina, Elsie, Fatima, Superman, Hector, Isabel, I'm still here, Isabel, Catherine, present, Lucy, present, present, Roberto, present, Samuel, present, Vitalia, Walter, Present. Wendy, I am here. All right. Uh, Lucy's turn tonight, right? Isn't it? No. Vitalia. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Vitalia, right? <laughs> I was wrong. I'm sorry. I got confused. Oh my God, another day. Tomorrow is Thursday. Thanks, God. Thank God. True. Oh, by the way, in November we have Thanksgiving. <laughs> the last Friday. Maybe the last, last Friday. Maybe, yeah, last Thursday, the fourth Thursday in November. So maybe we can have a, a mini celebration, the last class of Thanksgiving okay. in advance. That would be great. Anyway, anybody. It's gonna be together. We're all gonna be in our spots, but we can have some decorations or some background. It's we'll turkey. Sure. Uh -huh, you can prepare some, <laughs> some turkey sandwich at home. <laughs> true, true, true. Only the sandwich without turkey. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> no, the gravy and the mashed potatoes the and gravy. all the other. Uh -huh. yeah. That will be great. Well, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Take good night. care. Night. Bye. Bye. Eh, no me funciona la cámara, eh, teacher. Don't worry, eh, it's okay. El teléfono seguimos así. No, no se preocupe, está tranquilo. No sé, solo dígame algo que le pueda ayudar, algo que necesita que repasemos, o solo tenemos eh, una conversación. Ok. Este, de, tengo una duda ahí con, con los de los super latín. Uh -huh. En la palabra hot eh, le agregó doble T, usted has, lleva cuando es superlativo. Mm, la regla dice que si la palabra del adjetivo tiene nada más tres letras, una ah. consonante, una vocal y una consonante, tengo que duplicar la última consonante. Ah, okay. Lo mismo pasa con big. Si uh -huh. se fija, a biggest, antes big. de poner la EST, le tengo que duplicar la segunda consonante, que es la G, porque okay. tiene consonant, vowel consonant, que es big. Entonces, B, I, G. Entonces, duplico la última consonante porque solo tiene tres letras. Y es la, la secuencia de consonante, vocal, consonante. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Esa es la regla. Ok, ya me quedó claro. Y es el mismo caso de hot, de sad. Y no recuerdo qué otra vez. Wet podría ser también. The wettest. Sad. Sad. Saddest. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Any other question? <coughs> Solo le puedo la cámara porque voy a desconectar un momentito. Bye. But you can continue talking, no problem. Okay. All right. <coughs> Con lo de las actividades, uh -huh. solo hasta la... Ya hizo el midterm. Ajá, a la, a la cuatro llega, el number four. Sí, sí, solo tiene cuatro unidades, pero uh -huh. tiene dos exámenes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El midterm y el final Eso exam. Eso quiere decir que nosotros terminamos ya esta, se esta semana. No, o seguimos la otra. Seguimos la otra y seguimos el siguiente lunes aún, por, por el día del de, segundo de noviembre. Oh, uh -huh. Son cinco semanas. Lo tenemos que recuperar. Exacto. 
<risa> se alarga ajá, hacia el final un día más. Hubiésemos terminado justo el otro viernes, pero como no, bueno, como tuvimos el sueto ese día, ajá. son 25 clases. Sí, es que siempre voy a estar este, pendiente ahí, solo escuchando los días martes, porque como tengo clases de la universidad. Ok, ¿qué do you study? Este, relaciones internacionales, negocios y relaciones internacionales. Really? What university? ¿Mande? What university? Ah, Gerardo Barrio. In San Miguel. Sí. Really? And the classes are online or in person? Uh, it's online. Oh my God, you take a lot of classes online. ¿Mande? Tiene que tomar varias clases online. Eh, solo tenemos una a la semana, solo el martes. All right. Y las otras sí son in person. Y de ahí es que eh, ajá, las, las tareas, homework, eh, más los, los la, ¿cómo se llama? Digamos como los parciales que hacemos. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Entonces dentro de la semana tenemos que distribuirnos el tiempo ahí para después de recibir la clase para poder enviar las tareas. ¿Pero no van a clases presenciales? No, porque este, yo lo tomé 100% online. All right. Ajá. And you work. Sí, este, por el trabajo. Y uh -huh. hay uno que sí lo tiene en semi. Uh -huh. ah, tienen que ir a la universidad y, y online. All right. And where, uh -huh. And where is the university in San Miguel, exactly in the city? Um, yeah. Interesting. All right. Y así estamos. Mm -hmm. Y este, pues yo estoy, tomé esto de lo del inglés porque en la carrera está como que al parecer vamos a hacer el examen de TOEFL. It is necessary. <laughs> Entonces, <laughs> ay, tengo, tengo que meterle con ganas al inglés. You need to. Sí, porque es un poco complicado. ¿no? Sí, es por lo de las relaciones internacionales. Ajá. Sí. You have to speak English, definitely. Sí, pues, mm -hmm. te llevo bastante inglés. A lot. Entonces, que, y como, bueno, ya había dejado un buen rato de, de, de estudiar, no, ya se me estaban olvidando algunas cosas. Uh -huh. Entonces, tengo que refrescar todo eso. Yes, you have to study a lot. No, <laughs> no but you have to study a lot for the classes, for the test. Sí. Mm -hmm. True. <laughs> hey, Carlos. Pero Carlos. Uh -huh. He arrived to San Salvador, probably. <laughs> Samuel. Uh -huh. He's... Ya se salió. <laughs> no clases, tío. No, no clases, que nos ha llegado todo. Yo se ando con un poco de todo. Todo el mundo en el cine, en serio. junto con Cristina, pero ya se le ha grabado más, ¿verdad? Sí, está muy mal. De hecho, nosotros nos mandaron otra vez recordatorio de que no se pueden permitir estudiantes con síntomas de gripe, bla, bla, bla. Y un montón de cosas. A lot of things. But anyways. En la que pases. Sí, que ahorita anda como un brote de eso. Uh -huh. A lot. Okay. Well. Solamente, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, bueno. Thank you so much for staying. Thank Keep you. studying and, and study hard. Ok. Ok. Thank All you. Right. Good night. Good night.